Well, we are in Elkhart, Indiana. Yeah. And we're going to go see where our RV was born. Yeah. <laughs> where our baby was made. This is awesome. Um, we got the opportunity to go to the rally this year. Mm -hmm. But during the rally, uh, all the technicians are out there. People who are normally building RVs yeah. are out there fixing all the stuff yeah. that, has, uh, that has gone wrong or shaken loose or whatever the case may be. So now they're back in production. So the week after mm -hmm. the rally, we're going to walk through and we're going to actually see them building these things. We're going to take you through the line and show you as much as they will allow us to show you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, this is the first stop in the process. This is very cool. Over here, they start with the frame and they start dropping in all the tanks. Fresh water tank, black water tanks, the gray water tanks. And then they move them over here and start on the wiring. That's just the main wiring. Yeah. Once they get done with the main wiring, they take it into the bay. They do something really, really cool. Yeah. They flip this thing completely okay. upside that's down. Funny. And then they start, because it's easier to wire from underneath. And that's where it gets its underbelly coating. Yeah. So they make sure that it stays on nice and flat. They don't try to put it on from underneath. Right. They flip it over. And Which I always assumed they did. They just I put know. it underneath. But they don't. No. And if it's a toy hauler, that's the station also where it gets its gas tanks. tanks. So yeah. that you can fill up all your toys. Yeah. At this station, the RV also gets its tank valves, suspension, axles, springs, wheels and tires, its initial plumbing, and also the hydraulic system and additional wiring. This is where the RV gets its flooring and its walls. The flooring and walls are all built offline and then moved to the production line. Additional plumbing is also installed. After the plumbing is installed, it gets its exterior Asdell walls, decals, front cap, and then again, it's moved on down the line. The next stop on the production line is the roof. Additional wiring is run through the roof. The trusses are built offline and then placed onto their RV on the production line. With the air conditioners, fans, PVC roof, skylights, and everything gets sealed up.
cabinets, finishings, and duct work is worked on offline and brought to the production line. While the roof is going on the RV, all the cabinets, drawers, trimming, balances, fixtures, and a bunch of other stuff is getting installed. After the roof is complete, it's time for the slides. The slides are also built offline and then moved to the production line. The process is a lot like the regular production line on the floors, the roofs. It's basically done made as the same as the main body of the RV. Final step of the process is the PDI. This is where the final cleaning is done, finishing touches, and quality control inspections take place. Well, I gotta be honest, that was way cooler than I that thought was it was cool. gonna be. Yeah. Man, that you guys got that that thing going on. That is a well-oiled machine. You I had no idea yeah. what all went on in the production line. Yeah, there's quite a bit to go on day in and day out. Yeah. Man, you guys do an awesome job. And thanks, Ben, for taking us through, showing us all the stuff. Yes. We got to see all the cool stuff that a lot of other people don't get to see. see. Yes. And we get to show it to you, so that's awesome too. Um, man, so you guys are putting out how many units a day right now? Um, so right now plant one is currently at 10 units a day. Plant two is at 12 units a day and three is at eight units a day. Wow. And plant one's cranking out Valors. Valors, plant two is Paradigm and three is Avenue. Yeah, so if you have not been on a factory tour, Alliance is the one to go on. Yeah. If you are thinking about getting an RV, Alliance, Alliance. might be the one for you. <laughs> As you can see that they're making quality stuff here. And, um, mm -hmm. and man, we even saw now we've never been on any other factory tour but we saw something really cool on the production line that i think a lot of people don't realize happens we saw some things that that weren't perfect when they're going down the line and we saw people stop the line yes address it fix it before they moved it down the line yes that's, now, that's a care and pride that our team has out there yeah and you you see these things i mean they're bouncing down the road they have so many potential problems and things are probably going to go wrong with them anyway but just the care of that little extra step is probably going to save someone whoever is going to purchase that rig that's going to save them a lot of time going back to a dealer working with their warranty i was gonna say and it saves you guys from having to do warranty work yes so. yeah so the little touches like that are yeah. awesome. The attention to detail is amazing. It is. Yeah. It is awesome. But thank you so much for taking us through. If you have, like I said, if you haven't been on the factory tour, you got to go. Um, if you're thinking about getting an RV, definitely consider Alliance RV. We'll leave a link down in the description below so you can go look at all their floor plans, learn all about all their specs, and maybe one day you can come up here to Elkhart, Indiana and go through the factory tour. Yeah. It's really cool. Thank you guys. Yep. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans, everything you need to know, right down there in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.